how to initially log in to an AM4300 switch through the command line. Out of the box, you have two ways, either using the console ports locally or using Telnet remotely. Let's start with the console ports. You can access through the mini USB console port, the cables in the box, or the RG45 RS232 console port, the cable is in the box too. Before using the mini USB, once for all, please install the USB driver for Netgear Managed Switches console. Please go to the M4300 support page, download section, get the USB driver and install it. It is important to do this without the connection yet to the switch. Now you can connect the mini USB cable. You can detect which COM port the USB connection was assigned to in your device manager with Windows. You can do that with Spotlight with macOS or Hard Info with Linux too. For me here, it's COM6. Now the terminal emulator. With Mac, you can use Zterm. With Linux, you can use TIP. And you can use TerraTerm with Windows. That's my favorite one. See the inscription for the serial port speed on the switch? It is 115 200 bits per second. Let's configure TerraTerm going to Setup, Serial Port, and select 115 200 for the COM6 port. Starting the connection, serial, come 6 port. Here we are, now pushing enter and this is the login. You are in the CLI, you can enter enable and the M4300 console is all yours. Now, out of the box, if you want to go Telnet. You can access the switch through the out of band Ethernet service port or through any in-band Ethernet network port. By default, the switch functions as a DHCP client on both sides, out-of-band and Ethernet ports. Let's start with the out-of-band service port. Connect the cable. Done. If there's a DHCP server on your network, you can consult the DHCP leases like me here can see that my switch picked up the 192.168.0.124 IP address on its service port. I'm starting a new session in TerraTerm. Telnet 192.168.0.124 And here we are, pushing enter. This is the login. The CLI is all yours. If you don't have a DHCP server on your network, then the out-of-band service port defaults on 192.168.0.239, when the in-band management VLAN IP address defaults on 169.254.100.100. Let's go with an Ethernet in-band network port this time. You can configure your computer with a static IP address. Use an IP address in the 169.254.0.0.16 subnet, such as 169.254.100.201. Now, you can connect your computer to any inbound port. They all belong to the management VLAN 1 out of the box. Start a new session in TerraTerm. Telnet, default IP address of the management VLAN 192.254.100.100. Here we are, pushing enter this time, this is the login, the CLI is all yours again. Well, thanks for watching, we covered the main possibilities for accessing the CLI of a brand new M4300 switch out of the box, local console, Telnet to the out-of-band ports and to the in-band ports with or without a DHCP server. 
Other how-to videos on M43 will help you too. See you next time. Thank you.